the teal, Archangel. God is our prayer. Nope, not Thor Day. Funny thing that Thor and his father, Wooden, Wooden's on Wednesday, Thor's on Thursday. Hmm, interesting. Well, thing is, you know, I don't love those gods and goddesses. Anyway, um, the topic of the message, oh, I got some quite interesting uh, messages. But, you know, I just want to tell people, look, well, I'm supposed to be going to the uh, see the Blood Moon movie, you know. And how many people are going to see the Blood Moon movie or even know that a Blood Moon movie is out there? Uh, it's, look, you know, y'all need to wake up, really. I mean, really wake up. This world is turning more into a disaster. It's, 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 it's a disaster. I mean, it's morally, uh, uh, immoral disaster going on, you know. And what's going on in this world is just crazy how people are just, you know, uh, really just, you know, they just, it, they're entering it and not caring, you know what I'm saying? Not caring about the conditions of this world. And, you know, I was talking, met a person at the laundromat and a man and a woman you know they they were telling me about uh uh the the rankings of of places where you know cities that were affected with aids and hiv and who ranked the highest you know and uh they were telling me some disturbing things you know about who ranked the highest in the state of Florida, in HIV and AIDS, you know, that in Florida, and they said that my city ranked somewhere 10. I don't know. I didn't see the rankings, or, but I, I mean, I won't, I won't say that that's true. But it won't shock me the way the world is like going. I mean. AIDS are killing rapidly, you know. People, you know, it's just like, but, you know, of course your BT and MTV is not going to share that information with you. They're just going to put that, you know, sexy, good-looking videos out there for y'all to, you know, want to, you know, uh, get y'all the tip tempted to fool around with who who and who and him and him and her and her and we had a conversation telling me a lot about a, a lot of stuff that happened you know in certain places and you know this uh shim uh situation that's going on you know men turning into women and that, you know, guy said his brother came across the situation, didn't know for a while, took a while and found out ugly situation happened. You know, it's, this world is wild. <laughs> Words cannot describe how messed up this world is. And you know the sad part, I will tell you how messed up the world is. And guess what? It's like, whatever. If you saying whatever into all this stuff going on, something is seriously wrong with you. You have accepted some messed up stuff. And I feel sorry for you. Real sorry for you. I mean, that you are blind and not see how terrible this world is concerning the epidemic that is going on in this world and how the world is not even care less about how bad it's becoming but let me get into the message I might be in that lane my message might be headed to that lane right there but the topic of this message is interesting I got you know yesterday leaving Starbucks <laughs> well I actually got three messages leaving from Starbucks but the topic of this message is the reality of getting rid of the four eyes 
getting rid of the four eyes. And those four eyes are image, uh, ideas, I, imaginations, and items. The four eyes. Now, Jesus Christ died on the cross, you know, as a symbol unto us, you know, because we supposed to, you know, because if Jesus said, you know, in Matthew's uh, 16, 26, you know, that we deny ourselves, deny ourselves. I mean, that right there, oh my goodness. I mean, if y'all truly know what Jesus is really saying and deny yourself, um, I hope you really know what that's really saying. You know, like get rid of yourself and take upon your cross and follow him. You know what I'm saying? Concerning a spiritual, and I uh, did a, a God revealed to me that that cross is prayer and fasting. And it's so cool that if you take prayer and 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 take the A off of uh, prayer and put fasting downwards, you'll see a cross that I did on you know resurrection. Uh, weekend or week or weekend or something like that. <laughs> but uh, um, I did that and you know we supposed to deny ourselves and take on this cross and follow follow him. That key thing is follow him. Follow him to what? Mm, let me see. Jesus, what he did on that cross? Mm, stayed alive on that cross? Uh, no, he died on it. Or more likely he got rid of himself off the from 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 out of this world I me mean, I think because that's what Jesus is telling us we're to be not of this world and Paul is telling us be not of this world I think that's the whole ideal of the situation but the thing is what do it the idea what is the ideal of getting rid of ourselves you know is what we need to understand is to uh, pretty much take our cross and follow him. To get rid of what? It's to get rid of I, of course. Now, I'm supposed to just tell you, of course, what is I talking about? Well, I is first image. Oh, that image. The image to look good amongst people. To show the people that you look good or you know, you the best at this, you look better than this person, you know, you know, uh, that you look good to impress people. You know, there's nothing wrong with looking good, but if your motive of looking good is to impress people, oppress something that never can be satisfied with anything because it uh, people operate according to the flesh and the flesh will never be satisfied because the flesh is not created to be satisfied. That you, some people might find out, or hopefully soon, but don't die to find out that the flesh can never be satisfied. But that's another message right there. But you know, they, they look good in front of people to try to you know get friends to like them and or worship them or something. Tell them how good they look and how good they are doing this how good they are doing that you know they do that for their image sake they look good for image sake you know to please people temporal eyeballs that you know they can be here today going tomorrow or they can get blindness you know nothing you know there's nothing set you know uh good about temporal anything temporal anyway we're talking about uh, okay ideas oh ideas you know because they got these of course I have to use I don't subject temporal ideas we think well we're supposed to be doing I got this idea that I'm supposed to be doing something that's all about me you know what I'm saying that people are looking at me and you know thinking I'm this great person whatever I'm supposed to be good at 
you know, you know the things that you do, whether it's in, you know, job or school or sports or whatever, you know, you got this idea that, you know, uh, that, you know, that's all about you, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it, well, when the ideal is, you know, done, you will get the spotlight, you know, kind of like the image, you know, people got these ideas and they have these ideas that they're right and somebody else is wrong. <laughs> yeah, you know those people, you know, I'm right about this, I'm right about this and you're wrong about this and you're wrong about this. You know, I'm smarter than you, you know, and you're, you know, dumb, you know, those people that got that mindset that, you know, that how they approach situations, you know, they, uh, they, you know, the smartest thing in the whole wide world and everybody else is, you know, are dumb. And they need, everybody need to listen to them and not other people. Those people, uh, they got the better ideas than everybody else. Okay, um, imagination. Imaginations I gotta touch upon. The Bible talks about uh, in Genesis 6 and 5 uh, that the that the the people in the earth uh, were there was God saw the wickedness of the earth and it was great a lot of wickedness and because of their thoughts and their imaginations within their heart they continuously they did evil continuously and the thing is you know and then of course it says in um uh it talks about in uh, first, I think in Corinthians, one of the Corinthians, I think Second Corinthians, talks about the spiritual, the the, uh, the spiritual, the the weapons we of warfare are not carnal, but is mighty in uh, of casting down imaginations, anything that will exalt itself higher than the knowledge of God, you know. It talks about, you know, that idea, you know what I'm saying? The, the imaginations will, we will create these imaginations that will exalt itself in the knowledge of God. Yes, and people are, got these carnal, of course, uh, mindsets of thinking that this world ideas, worldly ideas are better than the knowledge of God's word in people's mind, and they exalt these carnal ideas that, you know, um, well, like it, Paul says that the carnal mind is death. You know what I'm saying? How much death in this world has to proceed concerning people to find out that men's carnal ideas are not a good idea to really follow through? And you know how many, how much we gotta ignore the the God, the knowledge of God that we shall follow God's word to apply this in our life to you know operate in love that that sounds like and love one another i think that's a great idea you know not less one another bad idea um how much you know we exalt these you know uh ideas of the world you know that people do they you know um they they need to get rid of this stuff they need to get rid of these ideas because these ideas you know um that you imaginate within your heart concerning your heart desire. See, and that's what really creates this exaltation, how much we desire the things of the world, you know what I'm saying? As much as we will exalt the worldly ideas over the God, the knowledge of God, that we will always be in foolishness, and foolishness will lead the world into a mess. I mean, look at the mess going on around you on television, on radio, around your environment. It's horrible. And now leads to idols. Throw away the idols. Number one idol of them all, um, money. You know what I'm saying? The idea that money, I need to be the richest person in the whole wide world and stuff. And how you idolize things, cars, clothes, jewelry, anything that you possess your possessions mainly you exalt your possessions over God see Jesus Christ died on the cross to give us the ability to get rid of these four eyes and if we want to truly be about him and be about the kingdom of God we got to get rid of these four eyes to be about a true 
uh, reward in Jesus Christ. All right, that's the message. To God be the glory here forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.